Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Firstly, I just want to apologize. I've got the man flu, um, so if I'm a bit snuffly and stuff, um, you know why. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the, um, the vanishing point filter. It's basically to put something like an image, which we're going to do in this photo, um, put an image on the wall so it looks in place. Um, Okay, so let's get started. This is my original image. Um, I just want to create a new layer. I've got this layer here. It's just because I've just removed some things from the wall over there. If you want a new tutorial to show you how to do that, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, and this is the image I want to put on the, um, on the wall just to see what it looks like. It might be a good present sometime. Okay, I want to... I want to make this look more like a photo. So I've got the rectangular marquee tool. I'm just going to give it a border quickly. So I'm just going to drag it. I'm going to inverse the selection there. So it's just on the outside. Um, I'm just creating a new layer so it doesn't do it on the background. I'm using brown uh, for the border. My foreground color is 976347. And my background color is 523627. Okay, so once you have your colors sorted out and your border selected, you want it on a new layer. Go to Filter, Render, and Fibers. There we go, so it comes up like that. It all depends how you want it to look. Um, I'm going to have mine, yeah, let's be brave. Let's say 35. Strength. Um, let's just move the strength down to 2. Okay, there we go. And that should create a nice little border. So I'm going to do Control and D to deselect that. I'm going to double click the layer and I'm going to give it a bevel and a bose. And that's fine. So depth is a thousand percent, size 7 and soften by 4. And I want it as smooth. And I want to give it a drop shadow as well, so it looks like it is actually popping out. Um, opacity, I'm just going to take that up to 100%. My angle, depends on where your lighting's coming from, um, as to, to where you want it really. So I'm going to keep that at 52%. Distance, I'm going to just take it up a little bit. Okay, 17, spread just going to leave that 16 and size how big you want it um, I'm going to keep mine down to about 15 okay well 10 there we go 16 okay so now now that that's all sorted we need to resize it I know because I was practicing doing this for the tutorial before I'm going to make it 400 pixels wide and have a height of 300 Okay, so I'm going to select both the layers, Control and E to merge them together. And I'm going to do Control A to select all of it and Control C to copy it. Right, now we get to the main image. I'm going to go to Filter and Vanishing Point. Okay, I'm not going to show that again, just hit OK. So you've got it here. How this works, it works along the lines. Um, lines in photos always end up meeting somewhere somehow um, and that's called the vanishing point so we're going to just create a little box around here sorry you need to collect, select the create plane tool which is C um, and then just start start drawing um, a rectangle it will let you know if you do something wrong and not able to fit it in. So don't worry about that. Just try it again. So I've got my plane in. Um, now I want to move my cursor away from that and do Control V to paste our image that we copied over earlier. So you can see here it's all flat still. doesn't go against any walls. But if I move it onto the wall, it goes on there. How cool is that? So now I can see how the image would look. I'll have it there above the radiator like that. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to give that a bevel and a drop shadow as well. So hit OK there. 
there we go so it's on a new layer so you can turn it off and on if you need to um, that's very important because sometimes you'll have the background selected and you can't remove it you'll have to restart the whole image okay so double click on your your layer and go to bevel and impose and let's just move that out the way I don't want it to be a thousand percent because it looks a bit strange so I'm just going to take 63 size how big you want it to pop out and soften if we want it softened or not let's take that up a little bit more actually and like that and you want to give it a drop shadow to make it look realistic um, I'm going to try and do it the same as we did for for the the, um, the frame spread we don't want too much spread um, we don't want it to look too unrealistic on the wall there okay and I think that looks about right hit OK and there we go there's our image on the wall so that's the before and that's the after okay I hope you liked this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more to come thank you